we want to use the determinant of a matrix to find the area of the triangle whose vertices are given here. Notice how I've also graphed the vertices as well as the triangle on the coordinate plane. If a triangle is on the coordinate plane with the vertices shown here, then the area of the triangle is equal to plus or minus one half times this three by three determinant, where the first column of the determinant is equal to the x coordinates of the vertices. The second column of the determinant is equal to the y coordinates of the vertices. And the third column is all ones. And the reason there's a plus or minus here is if the value of the determinant is negative, we'd have negative one half times the determinant. And if the value of the determinant is positive, we would use one half times the determinant. So let's go ahead and set this up. The area is equal to plus or minus one half times the three by three determinant, where the first column is going to be negative six, negative one, eight. The second column is going to be six, negative seven, three. The third column will be all ones. And now to evaluate the three by three determinant, let's go ahead and use the expansion by minors or the cofactor method. So we'll have the area equals plus or minus one half. And let's go ahead and use this first row here. So we'd have negative six times the minor, which will be a two by two determinant that we form by eliminating or deleting the row and column of negative six, so we eliminate row one, column one. So we have negative seven, one, three, one. Now remember, for using the first row, we're going to have minus, and the next element in row one is positive six, so we have minus positive six, and then we have the minor, which is the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of this element, so we eliminate row one, column two. So we have negative one, one, eight, one. And then we have plus the last element in row one is positive one. So we have one times the minor, which is the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of this element, so we eliminate row one, column three, so we have negative one, negative seven, eight, three. So we have plus or minus one half, and now to evaluate each two by two determinant, we'll find this product minus this product. So here we have negative six times negative seven minus three, that's negative ten, minus six times here we have negative one minus eight, it's negative nine, plus one times, here we have negative three minus negative fifty-six, which is negative three plus fifty-six, which is positive fifty-three. So we have plus or minus one half times the quantity, this is sixty, plus fifty-four, plus fifty-three, so obviously the sum here is positive, so write this as one half times, the sum is 167. So the exact area is 167 divided by two, this would be square units, or as a decimal we could say this is equal to 83.5 square units. I hope you found this helpful.